very warm welcome on a warm day indeed to West Country Soccer Special from Wembley. It's down to the wire in that second division promotion race. It's the final, it's the big one. It's Swindon against Sunderland. The winners go up to the first division. Well, tradition at the great old stadium demands that the two teams come out together and with both clubs, official colours are red and white. It's Swindon who've won the toss to stick to their normal colours. But the horde of North East supporters, uh, they can't change the habits of a lifetime. So amidst that sea of red and white, the Sunderland fans' hope is that their club returns to the first division after five years. Amongst the Swindon crowds of red and white, all the hordes have come up from the West Country. They say there's over 30,000 of them. The, the fervent prayer is that their club will reach the big time, the first division, for the very first time in its history. So to Swindon 1990, it's the full-strength lineup that's been moulded by Argentinian manager Ozzy Ardiles into the most attractive passing team in the second division. That smooth passing has brought the openings for 27 goals each for Duncan Shearer and for Steve White, obviously key men. But another key man for me today could be David Kerslake, the right fullback. He's Swindon's only man with Wembley experience from his England schoolboy days. He's adept at getting down the right flank, and that selection of Pasco on Sunderland's left could be the weak link that Kerslake ferrets out. We shall see. Sunderland with ten of the men who won the semi-final against Newcastle, plus Colin Pasco selected on the left flank. Uh, could be a bit of a gamble. The lad's been out with ten matches with a knee injury. Perhaps their key man today, goalkeeper Tony Norman. The Welsh international has been in cracking form. I fancy he's going to be busy today. How well he copes could decide the result. And today's referee from Alton in Hampshire, John Martin. So it's Swindon Town who start the promotion final playing left to right in their normal red and white colours, playing towards the Sunderland fans at the players' entrance end of the famous stadium. First sight there, occurs leg against Pasco. Kerslake, the man bought for £110,000 from Queen's Park Rangers, Gordon Armstrong, a strong midfield worker for Sunderland this season. Obviously a long throw specialist to Ruben Agbula. Armstrong, Eric Gates, Agbula. A little touch there, and there's a chance here. Well, what an opportunity there for Gates. Many would have thought he might have shot. He looked as though he was looking to find a colleague, but... Uh, Good start there by Sunderland. So Sunderland's free kick. And again, that was a little bit free from the uh, point of view of the Swindon defence. Uh, a nasty moment there, but no Sunderland connection, and Fraser Digby survives. Steve White against Kay, and White has the better of it. Steve Foley. Hours gets back. Foley again. And Mr. Martin letting the first couple of tackles flow in the game. That's Steve Foley, a good, strong midfield player. Likes to link up with White and Shearer. John McPhail on the ball. To Kay. Gabbiadini trying to get away from Calderwood. He's got pace, hasn't he, that Gabbiadini? He's through. And the side netting, corner kick. Well, that's two crises that Swindon have had to survive. There's Marco Gabbiadini. 26 goals for Sunderland this season. That's Calderwood who was left by Gabbiadini's pace. The Swindon skipper was saying how Gabbiadini's pace could be a factor in it. Nearly was there. Corner kick. Digby comes for it, good hands. The lad who's come through from the third division with Swindon, a highly rated goalkeeper. David Kerslake. 
to Ross McLaren. To Foley. Swindon trying to get this passing move, movement now. And Bowden to Shearer. To McLaughlin. But the return ball out. At the moment, uh, Swindon looking a little hesitant, perhaps shaken by the two bouts of penetration there that the northeast side uh, threw at them. Good control by Foley, but uh, cut out by Gary Bennett, uh, handball. <laughs> Gary Bennett, the Sunderland captain, lots of pace. He's the man who will be trying to counter the pace of White and Shearer for Sunderland. So Bowden with a free kick and uh, Swindon have sent their big men up. John Gittins and Calderwood, the centre-backs are in there. So's Shearer. Here it comes. Gary Bennett. That's Paul Bracewell. Gets out of trouble nicely with the experience of the former Everton man, Paul Bracewell. John McPhail once with Bristol City on the ball now. Big number five. Ross McLaren cuts it out. Sweeps it away to Shearer, who's got Tommy Jones. And Foley again. And McLaren. And McLaughlin. Well tackled there by McPhail. Oh, again, a lovely touch there by Gabidini. Releases Armstrong. Releases ours, rather. And ours didn't make them didn't make the most of that. John Kay. Kay's made a mistake. To go. Oh! What a chance there for Steve White. Well, John Kay seemed to be coping, didn't he? Then he stumbled over the ball, and uh, there was the gift for Steve. Couldn't collect his 28th goal of the season. There it is, you see. There's Fullback's favourite. My goodness me, what a pickle. In goes White. Just a little bit too high. Kogoki by Norman got off his line fast to make the angle difficult. Trying a long one. Well, why not? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Uh, but Tony Norman had that one covered. See McLaughlin there. He's got 16 goals this season. That's a lot from a midfield man. It's been with that sort of thinking and imagination. Gabbiadini to Pasco. Oh, nice ball. Gates offside. Good vision there by young Pasco. Saw Gates, the old fox there, and sneaked into space, but just offside. Former England man and Ipswich Town. Kersley looking for movement up front. It's no problem for Agbula. This is uh, Pasco. Nice turn. Gates. Kersley tight. Armstrong. Agbula. Armstrong. Gates. Good tackle. Strong there by McLaren. McLaughlin to Duncan Shearer. Back to White. McPhail, White, oh, what a wonderful move and a super finish. And a wonderful save from Tom and Tony Norman. A wonderful move built up there and a good shot by White and a super save. Yes, Norman could be Sunderland's saviour today. it up but Shearer putting plenty of Scottish beef behind that one strong lad trajectory too high well, a thoughtful Ardil is there who sees, sees his side still alive after early problems
Bodin McLaren. And again, uh, Swindon's passing, letting them down a bit so far on occasions. Allowing Tasco to feed Armstrong to release Agbula. I don't think he fancies the running job too much, likes to pass it. Tasco, brace one. That's offside. Uh, Swindon had uh, worked their defence line well there. Armstrong's ball offside. McLaren, long for White. Well, again, it's not. Oh, this is another gift. Michael Dismay must score. Yes. No. Hit the post, Shira. Oh, back again. My goodness gracious me! How did Steve White not score there from that uh, dreadful Swindon gift? Well, the crowd buzzes with excitement now as this error comes in there now. McPhail's favourite. Suicide! White's read it. Chance! Difficult angle. Screws it across goal. Agony for him. Agony for all the Swindon fans. Shearer again. Again, Norman never knew where it went, but it hit his leg and it came back to Bennett. Well, one of the most incredible near misses, surely, in the history of uh, all the big matches at Wembley since 1923 in that first cup final. Look at that. There it comes back. There's Shearer. And so they survive. And uh, Tony Norman not very pleased about some of the uh, physical treatment uh, that Mr. Martin is allowing Swindon to administer to him, but he's a tough lad. He's played in international matches. and uh, McLaren just getting it back quickly getting away from that Gabbiadini to Ross McLaren Bowden White Bennett oh good play by McLaughlin gets past three men he's into the box here it is for Jones Oh, wonderful save by Tony Norman again, going the wrong way, but stuck out a leg and kept it out. And it's Bracewell trying to find ours. And it is ours. And it's out. What a fine run by McLaughlin. Brings the chance for Jones. Norman goes the wrong way, but that leg, the trailing leg, stop Sunderland for trailing yes Tony Norman could be the key man for Sunderland today Jones waiting for support Kersleg McLaren switch the play the Swindon passing machine is moving now McLaughlin Chira McLaughlin Chira Chance to that rip in a minute, he likes to shoot, but not yet. McLaren, Bowden, McLaughlin, Bowden. Oh, and again, a tremendous clearance there by McPhail. Great defence there by John McPhail, former Bristol City lad. Good defence, isn't it? Strongly, cheer up again. Armstrong. Switches it. John Kane, former Wimbledon player, Arsenal player. Gabbiadini, good dummy, Gates. Oh, lovely dummy there by Marco Gabbiadini. And the chance for Gates, but he couldn't get any angle on it. Another Sunderland error at the back, presenting a corner kick to Swindon. Bennett's error on this occasion. It's warm work out there, and there are problems.
Tom Jones with the corner kick. Oh, bad one. To Curzon. To Jones. Pass goes tight. Gets away from him. Foley. Tackle comes from Kay. McLaughlin, though, to Kersley. He's got Jones wide right and in space. Should be able to get a proper cross in now. There it is, and it was uh, Foley's chance. He holds his head there. He knew he was in space. He just had to direct it on target. Missed the target. There's the chance. Didn't get over it. Norman could watch it go over the top. Like to show doesn't connect, but fail. Agbuli gets into trouble. Referee got in the way, but McLaughlin has it. Oh, deflection! And it's a goal! It's a goal! McLaughlin's 25th minute effort takes a deflection, and Tony Norman's luck runs out. Swindon Town won. Sunderland nil, and the uh, West Country fans celebrate. There it is, there's the shot. There's the deflection of Gary Bennett. There's the McLaughlin shot. Bennett sticks a foot out. Norman's committed himself. And the goalkeeper's luck runs out. And Ozzy Ardiles, knowing that uh, the most dangerous time for a side is when they just score a goal, so he'll, he'll want them to keep Sunderland out now. Armstrong to Pascoe. Blocked off by Gittins. So this great old stadium now playing with excitement as that goal is given publicly to Alan McLaughlin, but there'll be a lot of arguments about whether it would have beaten Tony Norman or not without that Bennett deflection. And good goal coming there by Fraser Digby and a foul against Marco Gabbiadini. Well, Bennett knew that there were problems, he was giving corner kicks away, he had to try and put a boot on it, he wasn't to know that Norman probably had it covered. Tragedy for Bennett, but really on the balance of the chances made, his side can't complain of being one goal down. So are Swindon Town on their way to the first division for the first time in their history, Dennis, not if Dennis Smith the son of the manager has his way. And it again. McLaren. Sweeping pass to Kerslake. Kerslake against that Bula. That's for Steve White. Chance here for Foley. Little chip. Didn't get it right. Nice move. Steve Foley looking for his seventh goal of the season. But the good thing from his point of view, he's getting into the positions for those chances. Gittins. Gates. Pasco. Gabbiadini. Again, quickness. Look at that. Nice stuff. Good chance by Gittins. Good tackle, I mean. White lays off, but hours before Foley. Seconds before Foley. Armstrong. Bennett's getting caught. But uh, getting caught for a free kick. Gates a little turn. You see how close Gittins was there to the action. He's beginning to dominate. That's Calder with his centre-back partner. This is Kerslake. Getting away 
from Magbuda quite easily. Chance for White! Oh! Oh! What another chance there for White! It didn't come easily for him, but it was a chance. How many goals the lad could have had? There's the chance! The ball came to it awkwardly, wouldn't come to him quickly enough, really. But uh, he knows that on a, in a five-a-side he might have got it in, but still his side is still leading. How many goals could I have had, he says to himself. Gabbiadini, Dickens in first again, good ball back by McLaren. Sutherland are going to get back into this match with an equaliser. They'll have to hurry. We're into the last minute or so of this first half. Gabbiadini uh, not being so successful as early on in this game now. There's a confident ball for you. Left fullback to right fullback across the face of two attackers. The Swindon possession game. McLaren to Jones to Colson. They're tiring Sunderland now. McLaughlin who does all that running. But failed getting away with that one. Pasco, Armstrong. Shearer is a strong lad there, and Jones has won it. And Foley's got it, and Swindon have it. And this is Bowden. White, robbed by Gary Bennett that time. Bracewell has had a tough time against Foley and McLaren in midfield. This is Foley. That's McLaren. And Calderwood. And White's done his running again. Always does the running, and now he's released McLaughlin. And Norman made the angle so tight. McLaughlin couldn't beat the Welsh international goalkeeper from that range. But my goodness me, how many goals could Swindon have had? There it is. He's made the space, but Norman's got it covered. So as John Martin brings an end to the first half, what a half we've had. It's Swindon leading by the one goal, deservedly so. Alan McLaughlin's shot there, deflected by Gary Bennett of Sunderland, which wrong-footed Tony Norman. Tony Norman, I think, will be saying that if Bennett's deflection hadn't happened, he would, might have saved, but we shall never know. But one thing is certain, it's a cracking match. Swindon lead, and we'll be back in a short while. <laughs> Back to Wembley for the uh, promotion final second half. Uh, Sutherland in blue playing left to right and a goal down. Could have been three, four, five goals down, but they're only the one, so they'll believe it can be got back in the second half. Swindon Town have played beautifully in the red, playing uh, right to left. They'll be looking for one more goal to uh, give them the uh, lead that their first half play deserved. Apart from the early moments, Fraser Digby there didn't have many worries. Alan McLaughlin's shot, deflected by Gary Bennett, the Sunderland centre-back, brought the goal. Hours to Gates. Cut out by Tom Jones to Kerslake, to Jones, to Kerslake. And that's the sort of passing with which Swindon have been dominating this match. Free kick. Wants to be taken in the proper place. Oh, 
as the idealists will just be said to them keep it the same way and Steve White be lucky White Jones a lovely ball to McLaughlin couldn't quite control it but he's got it back or back Buller but again Sutherland getting a boot in better in the second half now and coming away through Bennett Oh, as Holloway's tackle arrives, McLaughlin is as ever in position. And this is Shearer against Bracewell. Shearer chance. He's missed it. A well-made chance. Shearer into the box. Again, Norman narrowed the angle. There he is, he's got away from Bracewell. But Norman's narrowed the angle. He's got to get it right. And he was, what, a yard wide. Hollywood. Oh, he's got into trouble. And Fraser Digby there, having to show the form that makes him a highly rated goalkeeper. Gabbiadini hurt. Keeper claimed the ball. Gabbiadini went for it. That can be painful, and the lad is hurt. Already got his foot strapped up. You see the chase is on between the two of them. Calderwood's error. Gabby Dean is speed. Digby's got to go. Smothers is now claims the ball, and it's uh, it was the awkwardness of him pulling himself up, wasn't it, that uh, contorted those limbs. McLaren. A good tackle there by McPhail, but the inevitable swing and follow-up comes in. This is Jones. While Sunderland wait to get Gabardini back on after his treatment, their defence is threatened by that one from Bowden to McLaren. Oh, lovely. Back heel, Jones. Bowden, can Bowden pick somebody out? No. No, it's Foley. Gonna have a shot. Went too far. To Kerslake, let's one go. Well, he kept it down, but uh, wide of the target. Marco Gabbiadini back now in action after a couple of minutes uh, being taped up. Shearer, strong work to free Jones. Quick pass to Foley, who's lost it to Agbula. But look how quickly they get back in there, Swindon. And Agbula's being hunted. But he's done well. Gates, lovely ball for Gabbiadini, but he hasn't got the pace, I don't think. I think the injuries have taken their toll. He's struggling. And if that is uh, how he's going to remain, it's bad news indeed for Sunderland because he's their big hope with his pace and threat. McLaren. Those huge crossfield passes cut out, but Swindon still have the ball. Shearer, good movement off the ball there. This is Kerslake, got Jones outside him. That is Jones. Well, that's rather given away. And this is a promising situation now for, with Bennett for Sunderland. The foul is back. The man who made the error makes it up. That's the Swindon spirit. Bowden. Shearer. Jones. White. Turns it. But it's McPhail who gets there before McLaughlin. It's Gary Hours getting away nicely from McLaren at a bit of pace. Still there. But McLaren, strong, catches him up. The man who took part in Derby's second division promotion campaign a few years ago, showing how it's done for Swindon. Gates. Bracewell. Armstrong. Gittins gets it. Good shot. No. Bracewell appealing for the corner kick, but uh, 
Referee John Martin not giving it. Paul Bracewell has recovered from several injuries to get back into this match. But he could be finding it hard in the second half. And Ozzy Ardiles, who uh, often watches uh, a lot of the match on his feet, Chick Bates to his left there, the man who drives Swindon on the physical fitness side, Ozzy Ardiles with the coaching ideas. McPhail. To Kersley. Agbula and again Foley's anticipated that. Norman had to be quick. Gates, lovely ball here. Ours couldn't get it done quickly enough though. Swindon are back. Pass ranks are there now. You've got to move quickly to catch Swindon. Quick kick against Foley. Gabbiadini, nice little turn, but the sharpness is not quite there anymore. Hours. Gary Hours taking Bowden on. Oh, there was a strong challenge there by Gittins. Referee was right there. Kersleg, a quick one, but at the cost of accuracy, because Agbula puts it back in there. McLaren. Okay. To ours. To brace one. Someone coming into the game better in the second half in midfield. McLaren. Jones. To Kersley. Jones. McLaren. Jones, Kersley. There's McLaughlin on one of those runs again off the ball. Oh, gets, gets away from his man, but uh, takes the ball out in the process. But he's been a big factor in swinging and supremacy. So 20 minutes into the second half, Gabbiadini uh, going over to the touchline there. Is he about to go off? White! Chance, goal, no! Foley, no! Goodness me, Swindon. They're really putting their fans through some sort of agony here. Bracewell. And again, they've survived. Again it's in there, and again it's White, look, good shot, but Norman's goalkeeping was perfect, White scrapes it across, but Bennett gets away before Shearer can get to it. It's last desperate ditch stuff by Sunderland. But White's in there again and battling away, his side won't be complaining about the work he's doing. Gates, Gabbiadini, offside there, Swindon are quick to push out, good passing, not the only part of their game. Spoiling the broth there for Swindon, but uh, head cook and bottle washer at the back, John Gittins, uh, sorting it out again. But Sutherland still have it. Armstrong. Oh, and there was a strong challenge there between those two, but again, John Martin letting the game flow. Armstrong. Gittins getting to the ball ahead of Gabbiadini there, making it difficult for the lad to uh, make contact. He's limping, he's struggling. And this is Foley. And Swindon's prob uh, Sunderland's problems are compounded by the fact that... Uh, here's a chance here for Foley. Oh, good shot. Good shot by Foley. 
Sunderland's problems compounded by the fact that not only is Gabbiadini limping and injured, but the gamble on Pasco could have failed because uh, I see his knees strapped up now. And maybe it's him. This is Jones. This is Shearer. He'll give this to Welly now. Just over the top. They're queuing up for the second goal. So Brian Atkinson on for Colin Pasco. The gamble on Pasco has failed. His fitness has gone. The knee's been strapped up. So it's this lad's chance now. McLaughlin. Beautiful. The inevitable Steve White doing the running down the flanks. The cross cut out by Atkinson, so that's his first contribution. An important interception, but at the cost of a corner kick for uh, midfield player Brian Atkinson. So, Tom Jones with the short corner, McLaughlin helping out. Jones knocks it in. Gary Bennett away. He's dropping for Foley. Agbula. Good play, he was hemmed in, but he kept his cool. Now John Cato have good possession. Bennett has it. Yes, with Sunderland, they've got to try something, they know that. This is Armstrong. This is Gabbiadini. He had hours free on the right, but didn't give it to him. This is ours. Gabbiadini, ours. And good play by McLaren there. Big loss, McLaren dropping back from midfield and sorting that one out. White to Shearer. Let's go first time. Those are the sort of moves that have brought to Swindon so many goals this season. That's why those two lads have got 27 each. So Thomas Hauser, the West German, coming on now in, uh, in place of Eric Gates. The 35-year-old England veteran has run out of steam in this warm atmosphere. And Hauser's bigger, stronger, not, maybe not as skillful, but uh, he can be quite an effective player. Hauser, Atkinson. A little bit of space suddenly available here in this winning half of the field. John Kane. Calderwood comes in strong. He's certainly not quitting Gabbiadini, despite his knocks, he's still putting himself about, but uh, Swindon's still with this lead, and uh, we're into the last 15 minutes of the match. Given away. Yep, they have it again. McPhail. That's for Atkinson to chase against Kerslake. But uh, too clever for him by half. Oh, Jones putting him in a bit of spot of bother, but uh, they're getting out of it together, look. There we are. Play, play, play is the ideal's way. Always play pure football, and it's certainly succeeded for them on most occasions today. Powers is showing good penetration in this last phase of the match. And boys last at the pace well, except he doesn't like that. Bit of cramp, I think, setting in there. Now well, the Sunderland supporters trying to lift their team there. They've not had too much to cheer about in this match. But they know that uh, whilst their side's only 1-0 down with 14 minutes left, all things are possible. Atkinson's free kick. Tom Jones was there. Agbula following up. The bookies weren't backing him to score. He's never scored a league goal in his career. Well, 
feels like to Shearer. Back to Foley. Bowden. Running. Okay, good cross. Shearer's there. Just wide. Shearer got there. Steered it only just wide of the target. Bowden's cross. Shearer's header. And see how Norman probably had it covered. His goalkeeper's been where he's been needed most of the time today, look. Would he have got it? Yes, I think he would have done. Time for all sorts of things to happen. Only one goal in this. Agbula. Bracewell. Gittins. Foley. Yes, cool and calm is Steve Foley. Digby says, let's cool it. Digby will uh, move this some distance. Bennett. Norman. Norman prefers the Sunderland build. They've lost it now. This is McLaughlin. Jones. Steve White outside him. That is White. There's three men in the box. Can he pick one out? Cheer up. Goal. Oh, what a save! Fantastic, Tony Norman save. Duncan Shearer's uh, wonderful uh, header, Tony Norman super save. There's White's lovely cross, picks out his uh, stable companion. Shearer gets up, inspired goalkeeping. Norman has kept the score down. Three minutes to go on the clock, about five in actuality, I think. Jones to Kersley. White, and again, he didn't get over that. The man who might have had five, but uh, his contribution to Swindon's side has been uh, considerable in uh, being in those positions to worry some of them. To Gordon Armstrong. To John McPhail. Colin Calderwood. And that is the end of the game, and Swindon Town are in the first division. The club from Wiltshire, who used to be regarded as just a bit of a joke side from a little old railway town, have now brought first division football for the first time to a club that's grown as Swindon has grown, and it's a mixture of Argentinian coaching and British style and grit that's done it. And over 30,000 West Country voices salute them. Steve Foley, Chick Bates there. It's congratulations all the way now. Kevin Morris with the white hair has been down at Swindon and known the four days. Kozlake had a marvellous game. Gary Bennett, his thoughts are obvious. There was only one deserved winner. And it was Colin Calderwood's team there as he hugs Tom Jones. It was Ozzy Ardila's day as he uh, commiserates with Eric Gates. It was a match in which Swindon could have won it by any score you like to mention, up to about four or five. And the Ardila's creed of play football, boys, not to worry, just keep playing football, has brought Sunderland down. And so Colin Calderwood takes his team to collect from uh, Barclays Bank, uh, the uh, bigwigs of the Barclays League, uh, the trophy that marks this promotion final. And it takes my mind back to 21 years ago when it was Stan Harland holding up that League Cup the last time that this club came to Wembley. Well, they've only been here twice in 21 years, but they seem to like it. Tom Jones has collected some young ladies' hats. There's red-headed Duncan Shearer worked hard. Paul Bernie, classy uh, Welsh international left fullback. Ross McLaren there, a superb midfield worker. John Gittins, who pulled the defence together after those early traumas. I reckon he's a Sunderland fan, don't you?
Tom Jones, who worked so hard in midfield. Young Fitzroy Simpson, the blue-shirted sub who never got on. His happiness shows the squad spirit. Swindon averaged only 9,500 through their promotion season until we came to the playoffs. But today, over 30,000 got behind them and they saw the West Country side, Grace Wembley. Well, as those fans uh, support their team and salute them, one has to wonder just what division Swindon might be playing in next season. Because, of course, there is the Football League decision to be made on the alleged illegal payments at Swindon Town Football Club. There's a lot of gossip that if they uh, won promotion, they could be demoted back to the second division. Personally, I think that would be wrong because it would punish those people, the supporters. Ozzy, congratulations. Thank you. How do you feel now? Well, thank you very much. Uh, yes, it was, uh, it was a wonderful day for us and everybody connected with Trinidad Town Football Club. Uh, just to be in Wembley is a wonderful occasion, but to win the game is really, really magic. Well, you've achieved everything you set out to do in your first year of management. It must be easy. It must be, yes. <laughs> Uh, well, we have a, um, how can I put it, uh, an eventful season. Uh, a lot of things happen, and uh, I believe that uh, all, all our Swindon supporters deserve to, to be a win, they deserve to win, and so I am delighted. For well, it's amazing the way you've managed to change the Swindon style around, because they're playing some really good football. Well, yes, we are trying to play. Uh, I think we, this is what we did today. Uh, I'm very proud of uh, my boys. They, they have been tremendous all through the season. I, um, right from the beginning, I set up to, to, to play a different style, and they, they take it to their heart, and uh, hopefully they, they enjoy it right now. Colin, how does it feel to be in the first division? It hasn't really sunk in, to tell you the truth. Uh, we're milking the occasion of winning at Wembley. Uh, we're giving the fans something to cheer about, and hopefully we'll go down uh, in the folklore of Swindon Town. <laughs> Of course, you've played in the fourth, the third and the second, so it's going to be great for you, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I, I started in the fourth and all my career I've been in the lower divisions. Uh, we came into second and the difference was quite remarkable. Started going to good grounds, big grounds, and uh, it's, uh, it does make a difference when you go on a Saturday and you lovely pitch, big changing rooms, and uh, you get the media attention as well, which is quite good. Couldn't have been bigger or a bigger pitch or a bigger crowd than today, though. But you, Swindon settled so well. Yeah, after the first sort of five or ten minutes, uh, we found our feet and we passed the ball about superbly well. Uh, beforehand, people were saying Wembley would suit us, but you never know until you get here how you're going to perform. And once we found our feet, we, we performed admirably. In fact, it could have been two or three up, I'd have thought. I've not been big-headed or uh, saying that after the event, but I think we fully deserve to win, and one nothing might have been a, a little bit of injustice. <laughs> but many congratulations. Thank how you. did it feel out there? Brilliant. I mean, there's, th there's no way to describe it, really. All the fans, the atmosphere. Um, the way we played, which was especially pleasing, and uh, to be in the first division, it's a great feeling. We just knew that something had to come. Um, we knew we had to get in behind them, and uh, we knew by playing the passing game, we'd, we'd just get round them, and eventually something had to come. Although there's a slight deflection, I, I think <laughs> the record book says it's, it's my goal, and uh, I don't really care uh, as long as you went in the net. It doesn't really matter. Well, that's right. I mean, uh, what did you feel like when it when it when you actually hit it? Do you think it was going in? Once I hit it, I mean, uh, I, it just took just hit the fell and then it just seemed to take an eternity to go in the net and I could see Steve White trying, trying to, to get there to, to tap it in and I was praying that he wouldn't touch it so uh, as it's hit the net the next thing just, I just remember turning around and the lads were just on top of me then the net that uh, cushioned the goal that took Swindon to the first division for the first time in the club's history what a climax to such a super season in the West Country both the Bristol sides promoted Rovers made it to this ground in the Leyland Daft Cup final. And now Swindon have brought first division football back to the West Country for the first time since Bristol City went out of it in 1980. Well, you Swindon fans, Town Hall tomorrow, 4.30. Your heroes start a tour of the town. They deserved it. We've loved bringing you the action. That's it then. Swindon are in the first division. <laughs>